Hey there and welcome back. In today's video I'll be showing you how to quickly make millions of silver as a solo player. The method I'll be showing you applies to all players including new players without premium. If you do have premium you'll have better results. Now you won't risk anything since we'll be doing this in the safe blue zone. I'm talking about gathering limestone and rough stone. These two stone materials are the easiest to gather and new players can do this from day one, especially if you get the free three day premium from completing the tutorial. Now in this video we'll be gathering tier 2 stone and I'll be refining it in Bridgewatch for the increased refine bonus. The great thing about refining tier 2 stone is that it won't cost you any silver and in comparison to all other material it is the most valuable at that specific tier which is great for new players. This is a great alternative to going into the black zone and gathering higher tier material as we all know that gathering in the black zone can be risky and you never know when you'll run into a group of gankers or a guild. Especially with the east server being very populated you might have a bad time. So I want to provide you with the safest way to do this. Now gathering stone in a blue zone will be very simple and stress free. You can do this while multitasking or watching another video of mine. You also won't need a guild to do this. This is something all players can do in a safe way. You can sit back, relax and gather for a few hours. Now I know there are faster ways to make silver in this game, but a lot of that does require going into the black zone and dealing with gankers, risking your inventory and hard work. And at times we just want to log in and relax while working towards some of your in-game goals. Now before people start saying that gathering is not viable without premium, it is well known that doing anything without premium in Albion Online puts you at a disadvantage. However, I want to show that doing something as simple as this will make you a good amount of silver. Taking the time now to gather and level up your gathering skill will help you in the long run. It will make grinding for silver much more efficient. Now I am doing this with a tier 6 courier gathering set. It would be more efficient if I was tier 8 since it would allow me to yield more material. However, the higher tier stone is the worst material to gather in Albion Online since it makes the least amount of silver. So I focus my gathering time elsewhere. But when it comes to making silver in a risk free environment, tier 2 limestone and rough stone make the most amount of silver in comparison to hide, fiber, or and lumber. So before we jump into it, let's talk about the essential things that you will need. If you are at least a tier 4 courier, make sure to pick up a courier gathering set and a tier 4 Avalonian stone hammer. If you're not able to afford an Avalonian stone hammer, you can go with the regular tier 4 stone hammer. You will also want to bring out a gathering mount like a boar or ox. The faster the mount, the better, since we want to make sure that we are as efficient as possible. You also need pork pies, which increase your yield rate and carry weight. To get started, you'll want to find a tier 4 or tier 3 zone that has stone as the primary resource. I find that the Highland biomes next to Bridgewatch are the best since you can easily travel back to Bridgewatch and refine your limestone for the increased rate of return bonus. Now you will also want to take a weapon that quickly kills mobs. A great example of this is a spike gauntlet. You can easily one shot and AOE any mobs that might be getting in the way. I did do this in Goffers Knoll, a tier 3 Highland blue zone just west of Bridgewatch. Since it is a tier 3 zone you will get an abundance of tier 2 material including rough stones. Once you get to the zone and are ready to start, make sure to eat your food and start gathering. You'll want to make sure to find a good gathering route that lets you circle back and gather the same nodes from before when there are at least 6 out of 9 available. If you circle back and see that you are gathering 3 of 9, you might want to expand your gathering route a little bit to make sure that you're being as efficient as possible. I highly recommend sticking to limestone and rough zone only as they make the most amount of silver. If you see that your route allows you to gather a bit of sandstone in between, go ahead and pick it up. However, do not get stuck in a route where you're primarily gathering sandstone as this will hurt your profits. Once you have gathered for about 30 minutes, head back to Bridgewatch, or if your carry weight allows, you can try to stick it out for the full hour, but you can risk becoming overweight, which will slow you down. Now that you're back in Bridgewatch, head over to any stone mason and start refining your limestone. Since limestone is tier 2, it will be free to refine. The benefit of refining limestone is that it is a 1 to 1 ratio, meaning you only need one limestone to create one limestone block. With the increased refine rate of 40%, you'll end up with about 40% more limestone blocks than limestone, pushing your profits up. Now, I strongly believe that you can make anywhere from 550 to 650,000 silver per hour, depending on what tier courier you are. Now, you might be thinking, well, 650,000 silver per hour isn't much. I've seen you go into the black zone and make this in 20 to 30 minutes, gathering hide. Well, this is true. However, when you're in the black zone, you're always on high alert. You will always need to know what is going on in your zone and where your exits are and even then you run the risk of getting caught and losing everything. However, I do recommend that you gather in both the black and blue zones depending on what type of gaming session you're looking to have. Now if you want to have guaranteed earnings, be risk free, stress free and be able to relax and watch a stream or movie while making silver, then this is one of the best ways to do so. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and can gain some value from it. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. 
I make content for all types of players, PvE, PvP, Safe Zone, and Black Zone. If you'd like to support the channel, looking to becoming a member by hitting the join button down below. I'll be streaming every Tuesday on YouTube, and I stream four days out of the week on twitch.tv slash donny956. So make sure to stop by and say hello.